Andre 3000 rose from humble beginnings and worked hard to establish himself as one of the best rappers out there. It no doubt paid off big because recently he dropped nearly $4 million on a stunning new home in Venice Beach, Los Angeles, which we'll be taking a look at. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Andre 3000 is an American rapper, singer, songwriter, record producer, and actor who is probably best known as being one half of the hip hop duo Outkast, alongside his good buddy Big Boy. I'll be outcast. The only thing me, had, me and Big had was um, scenario. We rapped for days, no choruses, no nothing. We didn't know about choruses. We didn't know about hooks and none of that shit. After being raised by a single mother who worked as a real estate agent in the state of Georgia, Andre would meet Big Boy in high school, and while still teenagers, these two would form the group that would turn them into two of the biggest names in all of rap. Today, Andre 3000 is largely considered to be one of the greatest rappers to ever spit into the mic and is consistently listed as one of the top 10 rappers ever from media outlets all over the world. But did you ever wonder where Andre and Big Boy recorded some of their earliest and biggest hits? Well, guess what? Not only can you now tour the place for yourself, but you can rent it out for a weekend over on Airbnb. It was from those humble beginnings that Andre 3000 rose up the ranks of the hip hop industry on his way to earning a net worth estimated to be in the range of around $35 million. And recently, Andre dropped a considerable chunk of that worth on a brand new home located on the west coast in the Oceanside community of Venice Beach. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here in Famous Entertainment, this time checking out where Andre 3000 calls home. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. It didn't take long for Andre 3000 and Big Boy to sign their first record deal. In fact, they managed to do so so soon after graduating from high school when they joined LaFace Records. They released their debut album in 1994, which would go on to achieve platinum status largely thanks to their massive hit single, Player's Ball. By the following year, Outkast was already being considered one of the best new rap groups around, and then in 1996, they dropped their seminal hit, AT Alien. In this song, the duo experimented with new and interesting sounds that were totally revolutionary at the time to hip hop and funk. During these early years, the two Georgia natives recorded the vast majority of this music in an Atlanta recording studio nicknamed The Dungeon. Originally constructed in the basement of music producer Rico Wade's mom's house, this studio would become home for some of the biggest names in hip hop throughout the 90s. Along with Andre and Big Boy, artists like Goody Mob and Organized Noise would also record a number of their hits here. Speaking about the history of the place, Big Boy told Airbnb, The dungeon is where Andre 3000 and I spent countless hours writing songs and producing beats that became Outkast's earliest albums. And now, fans of Outkast and hip hop history in general can rent this space out for themselves in a partnership with Airbnb. Big Boy officially opened the doors to the entire house and guests will get full reign of the place, including access to the basement recording studio. This 90s relic is where the biggest stars in hip hop produce some of their best work and the walls still bear the signatures of many of the artists who've utilized the space over the years. While you're down there, you can even record a song of your own and you'll have full access to the state-of-the-art recording facilities outfitted with Yamaha audio equipment. And downstairs where the dungeon is, is that's where, you know, uh, this is where we wrote and organized noise produced, chairs here, everybody, three, four people on the steps with their passes right off from us tagging when we were in high school. Outcast tag, the big boy, the drink. I mean, you still might not sound like Andre 3000, but odds are it'll be the closest you'll ever get to doing so. Meanwhile, many of the other rooms in the home have been transformed to commemorate key Atlanta locations that inspired many of the songs that were recorded in the dungeon. Not only is there a spectacular games room with a pool table and stripper pole combo, there's also a gorgeous living room with a fireplace that resembles one of Outkast's biggest hit projects, Sanconia. As for the bedrooms, well tell me how do you feel about the color purple? 
Talk about living like hip hop royalty. The Airbnb listing also promises that there are a ton more surprises to be found inside the house that any hip hop head would lose their mind over. Oh, and if you need to go anywhere during your visit, don't worry because you'll also get full access to your own personal Escalade driver. Maybe while you're in the area, you can convince the driver to take you just outside of Atlanta to visit Andre 3000's first home located in Stone Mountain, Georgia. There isn't much in the way of details on this home, but it is a residence that Andre 3000 has lived at the longest. Records suggest he purchased it as far back as 1997 for just over $300,000, and that it includes five bedrooms, four bathrooms, a fireplace, and even an in-ground swimming pool. Thankfully, we know a little bit more about the big new house that Andre just picked up in Venice Beach, California. Located on one of Venice's most desirable streets and first built in 2019, Andre 3000's new contemporary home was never actually publicly listed for sale. So you know what that means. Very few details and even less in the way of pictures. But hey, at least we have a pretty clear idea of what the place looks like from the outside. Records suggest that Andre dropped a cool $3.9 million on this new abode, and you know that a large portion of that total has a lot to do with the prime Venice Beach location. After all, Andre 3000 now gets to call fellow celebrities like the Beastie Boys Mike D, actress Margot Robbie, and fellow rapper Lil Dicky his neighbors. Securely set behind some gigantic gates, this boxy structure is set to pack four bedrooms and four bathrooms into around 2,400 square feet of living space. There is also a detached structure located at the far end of the property, which is accessible via a discreet alleyway and situated behind black metal gates that's said to include a two-car garage on the bottom floor and a living space located upstairs. Now, despite the fact that Andre owns two different residences, he's apparently been spending the vast majority of his time in Venice Beach, at least since the pandemic hit. First, he spent a few months in a luxury rental house, but then he discovered this opportunity to lay down some roots and make a real home for himself. And sure, Andre 3000 has become a little more than reclusive over the past few years, but with his current narration of the Super Bowl commercial for Squarespace. Successful, she sailed into the setting sun as a seashell celebrity. Maybe Andre is finally gearing up to re-enter the public eye and we'll learn more about his new home in the process. Or at the very least, maybe he'll update his Instagram account. One post just doesn't cut it these days. All right guys, that's gonna bring this Andre 3000 house tour to a close. What did you guys think of some of the most important spaces in the rapper's life? Getting to spend a night or two in the dungeon will be super cool, but I'm sure that Andre's nearly $4 million home is every bit as nice on the inside as it is on the outside. Be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye.